You know that feeling when you're just walking up to the spawn waste in one day, and you're just scrolling through its interface and suddenly see Temporal Gaming District? You go through that. It's, it's instantly quite clear to you that you do not remember this location. What the hell is this? You disregard the fact it's reminiscent of a time in which you definitely did not in fact time travel. There's a goose, there's a horse named Chair, and some leakage of timelines. Huh. You know, it's that classic phenomenon where an entire minigames district fully set for a crossover suddenly appears out of nowhere. It's here now. This is here now. Not sure where it came from, why it's here, blame time space. But all in all, it's rather useful for a crossover. We do not have as many minigames here for the Igniters to play as the Igniters did for us to play, so I welcome a sudden minigames district. Another tower. Maybe I did time travel that one time. Ludy doody doo there. My name is Messy Inventory Free Lollipop Slime Balls Bong, and welcome back to another episode of Unorthor Blocks. This is episode bleep 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 forty five, and we are still crossing over. Well, not right now. Do you want to know a secret? Do you want to hear a secret? This is recorded like a full week after the crossover ended, because even Jampot Bong doesn't want to edit stuff on the same day it happens sometimes, which is an ironic thing for me to say as I'm walking through the pig race track. But look, we have a sofa! You know, no one on Blocks member is ever inactive. They're just down the sofa. And sometime in the future you may find them. Like an outdated coin, or a schlop wrapper. But anyway, we have an epi to sewed over here. Nom 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 nom. So let's get on with that. Today's episode, as you might have seen in my skit of intro, half involves... You know that phenomenon, the, the sudden, unprecedented appearance of an entire minigame district. It happens on Minecraft servers sometimes. Time, space, and all that. Space, time. Tim, space. Tim, space. And you know, sometimes the sky just goes. We we could put some 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 mini games here, and boom, there they are. Because we don't have as many mini games as Ignite to do. We don't have water mazes. We don't have a casino yet. So we must resort to world sorcery. But enough rambling. Ooh, look at my lovely fog mod. Doesn't this look lovely? There's finally a depth. Anyway, enough rambling, enough fogging. Let's get on with the actual footage that happened during the crossover, because right now this isn't a crossover video. This is a Grandad Tells His Tales from Last Week video. Spider was streaming and I appeared, as I do, and a bunch of us ended up playing in the Temporal Gaming District, which is what we are calling this, or what the space, the sky people want to call this. Looking at you, Draken camera. And we had a whale of a time. Click off if you don't want to hear my flezzy impression. I, no, I've heard tell that there is district. a, a strange, district. Yeah. a strange district. A strange district? Isn't that all of them? True. Yeah, yes. a temporal district yes, that got mad, that, that got uh, uh, strangely, uh, you know, appeared on the server one day. We don't exactly know how or why, uh, but it has all of when? the old games from po from past seasons. I love Light Matter. I mean, time space, time space, time space. <laughs> Do we know when it appeared? I don't know. Uh, uh, I think it was like uh, 15th of August or something. I don't know. Oh wait, no, I mean, um, we don't know, we don't know, it's all time space While mysteries. we were gone, maybe, that we were suddenly... Ah, uh, yes. Oh, we... yeah, yeah, that, could, that could work. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we, we definitely have no idea how or why we now have games on yeah. the server. Yeah, we need to build, we need to rebuild the fourth wall out of bedrock, I think. I've obliterated it. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> the, the, the fourth wall is a little, uh... Unstable? Fragile. I ate it yeah, for lunch. Unstable. Yum, so yum. you're telling me that it just appeared out of nowhere while we were gone to Igniter, and so obviously we must investigate. Yes. Yes, we must yes. investigate this. <laughs> we must. Yes. By the way, uh, any anybody who doesn't know, this is the one-way stone in around spawn that you can actually use. Yes. <laughs> if you touch Waystone Henge, that's uh, 32 Igniter Shard fine, um, imprisonment for two days, and um, you have to eat schlop for another two days and you'll have your mitmap broken. Wait, no, even I wouldn't do that. That's that's horrible. Oh my goodness. No. <laughs> no, you, you wouldn't you wouldn't break the precious mitmap again. No. Hmm. If I ever I purposely break a mitmap it. it's entirely for testing and research. Whoa! Oh my goodness, what's this place? Wait, what? 
I am, I'm recording this. So I'm acting like I've totally never seen this before. Wow. <laughs> what? I recognize I, that spire. I and would fly, but I have spire. like 11 I, rockets, so I'm just uh, going to use free cam. Spider? We mm-hmm. never... So you know how we never time traveled? Uh... Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, um, I, like, I know what you mean. I know you're in season two anyway, because you're one of those people, but do you recognise that bouncy castle? Because I certainly do, despite the fact I never time travelled. Okay, I time travelled. Uh, I think that's a goose wait. generator. Damn. You're Somebody saying they time travelled? Cherry Blossom the bouncy castle? season two oh, build. Oh. That's a funky um, dragon tower. And there's a goose in here. Oh no, <laughs> we have to get you out of here. Oh no. There's a, can't be. there's a goose... Wait, hang on a minute. No, wait, 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 wait. Mm. If there's a goose accessible sign, does that mean the timeline that we created became the official canon one? Very possible. Ah, whoops! Oh, I broke no. the timelines again. Oh, I mean, no, never, never, <laughs> never done that. Never done that. that. That's not my job. You no, just no, admitted no. you time travel jam. Okay, sometimes you have to admit it. Like when you're in front of a bouncy castle and a load of things that come from times you were not present in, I think you could kind of only say that you've time travelled. Yeah, yeah. Oh hi Draken. There are flares hammers over there. Flares hammers. Wow. Majestic things those are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Draken. Okay, four four break. I put the flares hammers there. Understand. Like I, I couldn't not put flares hammers here when I saw this. Yeah. Maybe the real ghosts were the geese go- that got stuck along the way. I mean, it's part of the machine now, I think. Okay. I mean, this is the goose generator so... now, the goose farm. It looks like it will still work even with the, the goose head stuck in it. <laughs> <laughs> Silly goose. Oh! There's a... Oh no, we have some ghosts. Oh, oh. oh no! A... What? No, you didn't see anything. What? Draken? It's that was that was a that's a that's a okay, okay, yeah. It's like the malfunction has done something. Uh, okay, I, I'll just admit it. I time travels and ah, it's it's one of them. I didn't think I'd have to see one of them again. Oh no! Oh no! That's, that's inconvenient. I have so many murderous bouncy wanna... castles on this server. Yeah, come on, right. spider! Come on, join in. <laughs> Goose, you can jump higher than I do. <laughs> I wonder if you could. This bouncy castle will kill you. So. Oh! Another one. Uh. uh oh no. They're they're oh, still no. cannon. They're still here. Hi, goose. Yeah, you seem to just be jumping here. right now. Hi. It's a goose. I'm terrified. It's Where did that come from? It will kill you. It's not doing that. It growls. Oh no. If oh, I'm in the bouncy castle. Yeah. Actually, probably the castle will kill you. Before <laughs> yeah. Goes over here. As long as the goose doesn't get off the bouncy castle, I think you might. Goose, be, be gone. So there is a bed over at the. Um... I don't know what you guys did in the past in that time. Because that weren't geese. Travel. That weren't geese before I came along. They didn't have a reason to summon goose. I thought. I thought we had taken care of that uh, when we definitely didn't time travel. Oh no, this was teleported oh, no. over from the wrong timeline, I think. Oh no. Oh no. Not that I mean, brought it for, oh, There's a second one now. Oh, oh no. Oh, I broke a honey block. What have I done? How have I got a potato in my inventory? Uh, no, he's up on the top there. He's actually attacking. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, Draken, this is brilliant. I love that. This is amazing. <laughs> this is a great <laughs> Easter egg. He's actually temporal... making his way off, look. <laughs> Wait, where yeah. is it? Oh. The goose hey, is active. The goose is coming for oh, you, Jam. No. <laughs> Run! They will actually chase you and attack, ah. attack, to attack you. <laughs> it's just like that time. So where where did all this come from? Like, what is everything in here? I see an unorthor tower, which is quite clearly the season two unorthor tower, meaning every unorthor tower that's ever been built, even though two of them weren't initially started in unorthor block three, they've all ended up on an author blocks three, which is interesting. We have a whole collection here. How does this work, if anyone knows? Nobody knows, we have... but we heard the words battle arena with archery. And yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just that you both start arrows. either end and just try to kill each other with bows and arrows. Okay, that's simple enough, yeah. Hi, Amber. Three, <laughs> two, Hello. one, go. Hello. Uh, just just so you are aware, I am live, Amber. Amber. Nope. So. Okay. Just, just so you're aware. 
We're over in the temporal gaming uh, districts. Ah! Oh, GG. <laughs> Laura won that one. <laughs> okay, I right. Get there. Let's I will go again. I that one a tie since Jam also did manage to hit me. Okay. But he didn't kill you. Yeah, I, I didn't he kill didn't you. He didn't kill me. However, yeah, we're in I think gaming I have a scarier district, Amber. How has this driven me more insane than the backrooms did? I did this to pass the time, but now this is just my time for the foreseeable future. Hello. Um, into a different mate. Oh, yeah, there you are. Oh, there you are. Hi. You, you're, you're still on the same side that you came in at. It's when you start seeing the same signs gang and again. Oh, actually, no, you are on the other side. Yeah, you, you should come out mm -hmm. the same way you came in a minute ago. Keep going. Turn left. Nope. Nope. Back, back, back. I'm out. Yeah, no, you are right. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Finally! Yeah, also the same I mean, way you came in, so you didn't complete the maze. You did half the maze. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah that's good enough. Would someone yeah. like to count us down, if anyone could count? Oh. I can count yes. you down. Are you both ready? Yes. We are. Three, two, one, fight! <laughs> For audience. Uh, Yay! Sorry! We, Wait, why am I apologising? I don't need to apologise. What is this? How did you acquire Chonkers Honkers? Oh no. That, aha, uh -huh. Uno reverse card. I join you. <laughs> Everyone else is outnumbered. <laughs> oh dear. A gem. Trio. Okay, anyone oh, want God, to play the shootout? I guess? Yeah. Yeah. Gonna do my cowboy impression. I've been getting uh, more than my fair share of murder games thus far, so if someone else wants to take a turn. I'll sit out for the first round because I did both of those, but then I'll jump in. And ye all the hars. <laughs> this is gonna be good. Cameras are so big when you drop them. Okay, director getting ready for the shoot. I'm gonna Wait, commentate this. Sitting? Okay, tell me how you're gonna start. I want to okay, commentate this in my cowboy voice. Ye haw, everybody! We're supposed to be on. Uh, Your flezzy impression. Oh, my flezzy impression. You're supposed to be on half a heart. Oh my goodness, it's back in camera. Okay, you ready? Right, I'm gonna do my flezzy impression here. Flezzy, if you're somehow watching, I apologize. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Flezzy. I'm not Jem Pop Bong doing a really terrible accent. And I totally look like Flezzy. I'm a duck. <laughs> Yeehaw, by my schlop. But not before <laughs> you shot each other with cameras. <laughs> so go on, what are you waiting for? Shoot each other, yeehaw. Jam, can you do a 3, 2, 1, go? Oh, <laughs> I know how to count. I know how to count. I went to duck school. I know how to count. Right, you ready, partners? You ready? You're rooting? You're tooting? You ready to yee those haws? Or you just get on with it? Three, two, one, schlop. Oh. Ah, and here we have the most interesting possible start, with both contestants missing their first shot. They're just running. A bit of a circus right now. Circling each other. Oh my god, guys. It's a phantoms. We don't have any. It's a phantoms. We have... We have arrows. <laughs> oh no. That's a good point, then we need to make sure we've got fireworks. You... You needed... You needed more arrows? I can I only recommend if someone go sleep in that bed over there. Oh no, I'm final food. Oh no. Ah. Here, take... Ah, oh, oh. Or you can just do that. Okay, that works. And okay. spider hearts I get shot. I didn't know you had stack. Alright. Right. Director Amelia. I had a whole stack. Okay, so how was it? For first game of yeah, uh, Flezzy yeah, Shootout, we're, we're we're ironing out the we're ironing out issues. So uh, okay, this, we need fireworks for that because it was used with fireworks. Originally. We need crossbows and we need fireworks. Oh, okay. Yeah. I I fell through the facade. Oh no! <laughs> it's just like a film set. Yeah. It it really is. This is a good place for the directors. You know, you shot spider with a camera. You fell through a film set. Average day for an average director. <laughs> This is absolutely true. <laughs> okay, um, I'll be good just using crossbows for now. Just normal crossbows without fireworks. I am okay with that, but... Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to commentate this one, because I am in it. 
that my flazzy impression will be applauded for generations to come. Okay, count us down. Whoever wants to count us down. Uh, all right. Three, two, one, go. That was quick. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Oh no, I'm definitely not on half a heart. I think I've regened. No. I'm still on quite low heart, so. <laughs> Yeehaw! Hope you enjoy the photo. I got it, yeah. Oh, it's two jams. <gasps> two of them. Mm-hmm. Ah, I'm jam. <laughs> you are? <laughs> I'm Jam! <laughs> you are Jam! Which one's the real Jam? <laughs> I'm Jamicus. It's hard to tell. <laughs> I, I, right, Speed Dig yeah. is really, really simple. You don't even need to read the instructions for it. Just go up the elevator to Speed Dig. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think the biggest instruction that you had was a, a betting process, but we don't need to do that. Yeah, I, I, don't, no. I don't really care about no, that right now. One. Yeah, you're not betting on this one. Uh, it's going to be a little bit more complicated on uh, Dig to Die, but this one's fine. Okay, so between okay. you, choose one chamber, which is quite uh, I'll, I'll choose number three. Okay, so you're all in number three then. Okay. Oh, so press all the of us. Button. Okay. Yeah, you all use the same chamber. Right, you'll see there are four trapdoors, so choose a trapdoor each. Someone count you down, you open the trapdoor, and the aim is basically to get down to the bottom as quick as possible before everyone else. You dig mm-hmm. straight down, no free cam, no third, uh, third person, stay in first person mode. And you're basically just trying to dig as quick as you can, straight beneath your feet, all the way down until you hit the chamber at the bottom. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, uh, do you want me to count you down? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, three, two, one, dig. I turn, don't worry, I turned off the mod I have, have but let's me change the current tool I'm holding to be whatever will break the block best automatically. Oh, yeah, that's quite cheesy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't even realise there was a mod that did that. Uh, it's part of tweak your roof. Yeah, I turn that off. That would be, yeah, that's the part of the rule. <laughs> you can't do that. At the moment, Amelia's in the lead. How long does this go on for? <laughs> Oh. Just put me in the uh, chest upstairs. Oh, you guys were near enough neck and neck. Between oh. and Fun. Yeah. Yeehaw. What else are we doing in this episode other than suddenly mini games? Well, my dear viewers, suddenly casino. That is right. It is time for our first official progress update with Vid. Me and Spider are going to meet him over at the casino and see what he's been doing. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hello, dude. Dude, so dude, guess- there. I guess you guys are going to want some sort of uh, an update on what I've been up to for the last like little while, right? Yes, I would quite like that. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Uh, I got a few things to show you. First of all, this machine over here is now done. It's it's good. It's working. Oh. Um, but I have oh. <laughs> the same thing you did. Uh, I've now dug a hole over here. <gasps> wow. So I'm ready for another machine, and not only that, I spent way way too long like probably the last three hours uh collecting these materials oh, okay which oh. is ready to build the machine yeah and not just these materials Yay. but over here come on over here those birch signs are not edible continues. i dug another big <laughs> hole another one. Oh. Yeah. oh wow and another one collected all these materials <laughs> yeah Yay. yeah and awesome. it's, it's funny you guys messaged me saying hey are you ready for a progress update and i mean it was within three minutes of me logging off after finishing doing all of this. Uh, so <laughs> nice. That's how long it took me to, to get all this done. Um, but I did one more thing, because I know you guys are mm-hmm. excited to get something done. And Jim, I think... Oh, there's phone noises. I think okay. you'll be excited to see this over here. Mm-hmm. So, check this out. <gasps> this is an armor stand in some water. Oh, that's how it works. I was literally that's experimenting with this in creative mode yeah. earlier. Oh, thank you. Yeah, now you can. You should be able to put blocks above this, but you'll have to like manipulate your your armor stand so that it. Uh, yeah, so that it fits exactly. I did this in my own creative test world, and I, I will admit it was a little bit of a pain because I had to keep going back to my model 
and moving it pixel by yep, pixel. That's it what I've been exactly doing the, right place. For the past two hours. Yeah, mm-hmm. wait. Yeah. So and it's it's not as easy as you think because you'll see this armor stand has to be jammed over to the edge, all the way over to the side here. Okay. Mm. Okay. And uh, it has to be one block away from the wall itself, which will start here. I did do that. Yeah. I can't. I can't put the two right beside each other. So okay, all we so have to do is basically mirror this over there, and then it's good. Does uh, the door decide- does the door need to be like one block above the armor stand then? Slightly it above. does. Yeah, that's exactly. Oh, right. I've got yeah. to reposition it again. That took so long, but that's all right. Yeah, I can. Yeah, just yeah. stand here okay. with a model, do an F three T, go into block bench. Yep. I'm really sorry. Uh, I gotta go. My uh, my food is here. Okay. <laughs> yes. so, Thank you for the progress update. Yeah. No problem. Thank but you I'll so be much back. For the <laughs> yes. Okay. I'll be back. I'll be back. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Yay. We're getting a funky door. I mean, oh yeah, yeah oh, a uh, golden door. key machine, and um, wait, no, we have. I mean, all the other stuff, but yeah, funky door. That's so Yay. funky. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited about the funky door. Yeah, I'll reposition the model Same. again. Should be a pack update Same. tonight. What a load of awesomeness down here! Thank you very much, Video Minecraft. You can always rely on kidnapping a convenient redstoner. You know, the igniters are on holiday here, but that's not going to stop us giving them work. But possibly what I'm most excited for is the door. So Vid installed a redstone for the door, and it was only a matter of me creating the custom model. Now, I want to preface, we're in the future a bit here, so I'm going to try and not show off the walls, because that clip was recorded on uh, 4th of October, and it's currently the 17th of October, because I have a, like, a week-long backlog, maybe a bit more than that. So we're just going to show the door here, but my door is amazing. I love the door. I hope everyone who comes to the casino uses the door. The door is the greatest thing ever. And this is where I must warn that pretty much the rest of the crossover content from me is me trying to shoehorn in usage of the casino door during tours and stuff. Everyone will see my door, because it is the greatest thing ever. I could watch my door for 100 hours straight. That's a video idea, actually. I watched a cool door for a hundred hours in hardcore minecraft that, that sounds about right okay do you want to see my door you can see my door okay let's feed the children they can see my door so big beefy custom model door oh no i've eaten all my lollipops we got dewey and dewey here we got the amazing conversion machines that vid put together and another conversion machine that vid put together. Got a casino side. Oh, ignore the door doing that. Just, just armor stand calling. It's magic. Oh, my door. Look at it go. Hello, door. I mean, it's just a straight rip off of what Tango did for Decked Out, but this is funky because it's sewers and it's a really cool looking door and it's got sewer coins on it and it's colorful. And if I could get my redstone for that to work, it would play a sound. Art. I will say positioning the custom model perfectly with the armor stand and the blocks was one of the most painstaking activities ever committed by Jam, who is me. But it was 152 specific percent worth it for this absolute behemoth of an opening. Vanilla Minecraft server. You know, I had to have it open in block bench, move it by like half a pixel, press every T in game, see if it's changed, and then move it again, and again, and again, and again, and again. I realize I have to be two different door models, so both of these are different custom models, and one's flipped and they're both positioned differently. But in the end, we ended up with perfection. And all for doors, I love you. And Plasma is banned from these because he trees are water. At least he could take his boots off when using the door. But with the adoration of the door, out of the way, that is going to do it for today's episode. I do hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you in the next one. Toodle pip!